away from that. The chairman of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, Musa Aliyu, says the commission in September 2024 recovered more than 13 billion naira that was previously diverted. He made the statement at the launch of the ICPC Strategic Action Plan 2024 to 2028. Celestine Area reports. Nigeria currently ranks 145 out of 148 countries in the Corruption Perception Index. This indicates that corruption is still a major issue in Nigeria. It has therefore called for strategic planning and cooperation by relevant agencies to ensure corruption is eradicated. My Lord. To get ahead of corrupt individuals, the ICPC has launched a four-year strategic action plan. Corruption is not only about peddling money. People believe that, you know, stealing government money is what constitutes corruption. I dare to say that corruption is failing to do what you ought to do. Having a strategy is like having a book on the shelf. What is extremely important is the implementation, the ability, the commitment, the proficiency, the acumen you need to implement. That is where the major work is. The strategic action plan is anchored on five pillars. There is issue of prevention of corruption. Two, there is ethical orientation. Three, there is public engagement. Four, there is recovery or process of crime and management. And lastly, the issue of enforcement and sanction. People, critical stakeholders have been invited before, at, were invited before now to make inputs. Those who are to drive, it is not ICPC alone. There are other critical stakeholders. It is when you bring them on board, you ask for their perspectives that you can, you know, ensure that they will also come together to ensure that it is implemented. The ICPC strategic plan is aimed at achieving a corrupt free Nigeria. The ICPC says in 2023 it was able to track over 220 billion naira assets through 176 ministries, departments, and agencies in Nigeria through its six phase of constituency, executive, and project tracking initiative. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.